Hello everyone. In this video, I will discuss about the types of drilling operation. So let's start. So first operation is the drilling itself. So it is the simplest operation of drilling. So it is the operation which produces cylindrical hole in a workpiece by removing the metal from a rotating edge of the cutting tool. So that cutting tool is nothing but the drill bit which has multiple cutting edges on it. So it will create the cylindrical hole in a workpiece. So firstly what we will do, we will just clamp this workpiece on the table. After clamping the workpiece, we will make a punch mark onto this workpiece where hole is to, to be created. So after making the punch mark, we will align this drill bit with the workpiece properly. Then we will feed this drill bit into workpiece by hand pressure or by power feed system. So in this way, drilling operation is performed onto the drilling machine. So drilling is not a accurate hole producing operation. The hole produced is rough in finish. So next operation is the rimming operation. So this rimming operation is performed after the drilling operation. So this operation is nothing but finishing a hole which has been previously drilled. So for this rimmer tool is used. Again it is a multiple cutting edge tool. So this is simply a finishing a hole. So in this process a small amount of material is removed and hole is accurately finished in rimming operation. Next operation is the boring operation. So in boring it is an operation to enlarge previously drill hole. Suppose there is a previously drill hole is there and we want to enlarge that hole completely throughout the workpiece then boring operation is performed. Suppose the hole created by the drilling is of, of diameter 10 mm but we want 10.5 mm diameter hole then it can be created by boring operation. So for that boring bar tool is used. So we can enlarge that hole which is previously drill. So next operation is the counter boring. So it is again a type of boring operation. See. So in counting boring, it is to enlarge the upper part of the drill hole up to certain depth. We have to enlarge upper part of the hole to certain depth. So that is nothing but the counter boring operation. So for this is done to accommodate the head of bolt, stud or pin. So head of bolt, pin or stud can be fitted into this. So this is nothing but the counter boring operation. Next operation is the counter sinking operation. Okay, it is the operation of making cone shaped enlargement of end of hole to provide a recess for flat head screw. So we will make a cone shaped arrangement like this at the end of the hole by countersinking operation. So for that again countersink tool is used. So this is created to accommodate the head screw. So head screw is conical in shape at the top. So head screw is accommodated into this hole like this. So for that counter sinking operation is used to create the conical shaped hole at the top of the hole. So next operation is the tapping operation. So tapping is nothing but it is the operation of cutting the internal thread by means of a cutting tool that is a tap. 
So we have, if we want to create the internal holes in the workpiece, we will use the tapping operation. So here for tapping, tap tool is used. Tap tool is simply what? It is simply nothing but it is a bolt which has a thread, external threads are cut on to it. So these external threads, so this tap is rotated and feed into workpiece to create the internal threads into the workpiece. So this is all about the tapping operation. So these are nothing but all the drilling operation. Hope you like this video. Thank you for watching.